the antinatalist stuff in general is a siege against intelligence because in order to understand the antinatalist arguments, you'd have to have pretty high IQ. So it's like a bioweapon that strikes the high IQ gene set in order to wipe it out from social consideration. And of course, the powers that be don't like very smart people because smart people don't need the powers that be. And so if you end up with your human livestock no longer needing you as a farmer, then you want to replace your high IQ population with a low IQ population who will fight and hit their kids and get divorced and be unstable and do dumb things and need you as the government. That's sort of basic. So as far as this antinatalism stuff goes, I just view it as a, a horrible, horrible attack upon the reproductive capacities of the more intelligent among us. And uh, it is a, uh, a lie and a falsehood. I mean, if you want to be antinatalistic, <laughs> you know where you want to go? You want to go to a place, I don't know, Sub-Saharan Africa or Saudi Arabia or certain backwaters of Pakistan or who knows what. Like, you know where an antinatalist argument would have been really, really helpful? If they had talked about it, say, in South Africa among the black community. Why? Because the black population went up 800% under apartheid. Now, if the black population had not gone up 800%, there could have been quite a bit more wealth in the black community because they converted their sudden wealth under apartheid and other systems into just having more and more kids. Now, if people had gone and said to the black community, hey, maybe don't have quite so many kids, well, maybe Africa would be doing a whole lot better at the moment. But no, they don't go to those places. What if they go to the places with the highest birth rates? Look at some of the Middle Eastern immigrants into Europe, extraordinarily high birth rates. Are they going to those people and saying, oh, you got to cut back on the number of kids you're having? No. They're going to hyper self-conscious, obsequious white people saying, don't have so many kids. It's bad for the planet. Come on. So white people get replaced with like one white kid gets replaced with like seven Middle Eastern kids and somehow that's good for the planet. It's nonsense. <laughs> so yeah, antinatal is, it's just anti-white. Let's just be honest about it. Antinatalist is saying, the world is misery, the world is unhappiness, the world is nihilism, the world is tragedy. It's like, you think you're talking about the world? You're just talking about yourself. Watching most people talk about the world is like watching some bird attack, a pretend bird in a mirror. <laughs> peck, peck, peck. They think there's another bird there, it's just a reflection. They're not seeing the world, they're seeing, right? They don't see the world as the world is, they see the world as they are. So the antinatalist argument is simply a confession that you're a miserable bastard. You're a miserable, nihilistic, do nothing, wet blanket, piss on human happiness kind of bastard. You're a dementor. You are a Nazgul. You are a horrible, soul-sucking, depressing human being to be around. You can't stand who you are. You can't stand thinking it's just you. You can't stand the idea that there's a happiness out there that eludes you. Antinatalists are fundamentally embarrassing. And they are a stain upon the potential for happiness the modern age affords. And yes, there's a migrant crisis. And yes, there is demographic replacement. And we can talk about it. You know, these disasters were always happening throughout human history. Imagine the internet in 1914, talking about the murder of Ferdinand, talking about what was actually going on with the Serbians. Imagine if that information had been available. There are problems, as there always have been in human history. But now we have the capacity to talk about them. So, yeah, an analyst, they're just confessing that they're too cowardly to be happy and too dumb, too dumb to find the path to joy. So <laughs> we've known this for two and a half millennia. Expend your maximum capacity in pursuit of the good. No, I'm going to convince happy people not to have children. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you.